Hi, this is Michael Stevenson again here at Sunrise Marine, uh, just west of Destin. And in this video segment, we're going to talk about the things that you can provide us, just some information that will allow us to find that perfect boat for you. I'm standing beside a beautiful 255 dual console Worldcat, which might be the right boat for you. But let's get inside first and find out if it is. One of the first questions that we like to ask people around here, because we do have a diverse boating environment, uh, some people just want a pleasure boat, go out to Crab Island, uh, just see the scenery and tool around with a nice stereo on. Others want to get serious about fishing. This is a serious fishing boat. What you're looking for in a serious fishing boat is great access to a live well, that's where you're going to keep your bait, a very nice open cockpit area, and then still really good seating for everybody that might come on board. As a general rule, it's easier to make a fish boat a very nice pleasure boat as well uh, because of the things like your raw water wash down, your live well, uh, easy access in and out of the water, um, and your rod storage than it would be to make a sport boat into a fish boat. Now on a fish boat, one of the things that you will consider, not that you don't use a piece of electronics on a sport boat, but more important on a fish boat, you want a good depth sounder to find your fish down there and a good chart plotter so that whenever you're out away from land, you can know where you're at. Now the main advantage that you get in an inboard outboard, as is the case in this sport boat with a Volvo dual prop is you have this great big swim platform here and a big sun deck. In this case, it also converts into a real nice lounge with your igloo cooler back here and with your remote for your stereo. So it's all about the entertainment being right at the back of the boat. Going inside this beautiful Chaparral 226 SSI, again, one of the advantages other than all your entertainment at the back of the boat is a really nice entertaining uh, interior. U-shaped seating is something you'll see very often. You can remove the cushions so that whenever you're walking out the back of the boat you don't have to step on them. Uh, and then also a really nice bow area, good stereo. One of the popular things you'll find on a sport boat in that just like the name says it's a sport boat you'll be doing some water sports is the uh, Chaparral Tower. Uh, what that allows you to do is in this case you can see your wakeboard uh, racks here so that you don't have to have your wakeboards inside the boat when you're underway. The other thing you'll see is up top here is your ski toe. What that does versus the old lower mount is it keeps your ski rope out of the water uh, when it gets some slack in it so that you can do those tricks without the rope giving you uh, trouble. The other thing you have is a nice deep storage box here, maybe for the longer skis. Good information that you can give us is the number of people that you might be taking on uh, the average trip, not the maximum amount of people that you might take, but on a regular trip, how many people would you tend to be taking with you? That can help us place you in the right boat. As well, whether you'd be considering trailering the boat or dry storing the boat in one of the dry stacks uh, or in a lift uh, behind your house. And a lot of folks are not aware of this, that the terms on a boat, for instance, if it's a $50,000 boat and you had bought a $50,000 car and it's $900 a month, the terms on a boat are roughly double. Uh, with the more flexible terms on a boat, you can actually get a lot more boat than you think you can uh, based on terms that can be anywhere from 10 to 15 and even 20 years on a boat. Again, I'm Michael Stevenson with Sunrise Marine. Come down and visit us. Thank you for watching.